Now, the food supply chain obviously starts with all the farms. So joining us now is Tom Bradshaw from the National Farmers Union uh, to tell us firsthand what's happening on the farms in the UK and how we can help out. Uh, Tom, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Tom, tell us uh, what is your role at the National Farmers Union? Good morning. I'm the vice president of the National Farmers Union, uh, farming here in Essex, but uh, representing 46,000 members. Okay. Um, obviously, there's a tight window for crops being ready from harvest to spoiling being unable to be sold. How's your workforce looking at the moment? Are you struggling? So you're right. It's critical we harvest those crops on time. At the moment, we're not at peak season, so we've been able to recruit the, the um, pickers required for April and through into May. But peak season really starts towards the end of May and through June, July and August when there's going to be a lot more jobs available. So, uh, Tom, how can the, our viewers uh, help the situation? Well, we've been overwhelmed by the interest that's been shown so far. But as mm -hmm. I say, there'll be a lot of jobs coming online sort of in a month's time. And there's a, a, a campaign site under Pick for Britain, which is going live, which is going to be able to link all the people that are recruiting uh, with those that are looking for work. OK. And is this something you can do whilst uh, social distancing, I suppose? It sounds like a tricky thing, but it, is it possible? All the guidance has been provided by Public Health England. All the farms have got strict protocols in place. Clearly, there are challenges, but yes, social distancing will be put in place. And it's critical that we get these workers so that all those fresh fruit and vegetables are available on the supermarket shelves and eventually onto our plates. I mean, like you said, it is, it's is—it's crucial that we, we get the workers in the fields because with last year we, we saw a lot of um, footage of milk being poured away. We don't need that happening to crops, do we? No, I mean, the milk one is, is devastating for those farmers involved. Obviously, when the out-of-home eating stopped, there's a, a fall in maybe 20% of milk demand, and that's now being put, some of that is being poured away. We're desperately trying to reposition that into other supply chains, but it's very challenging. Ultimately, if we don't get the pickers, then it won't, it won't be possible to, to harvest all of the fruit and vegetable crops, and there may be some wastage. So, yeah, we really need everyone to step up and, and take part. So, uh, Tom, um, what is the name of the initiative for people? So it's, it's Pick for Britain, and the, as I say, there'll be a campaign site under Pick for Britain launched this week where people will be able to go who are interested in work and be able to find all the details that are required. OK. Um, and, and where can uh, people go to find out about this? On the so if, you, sorry. if you Google Pick for Britain, pickforbritain.org, it will be there. And uh, yeah, all the information and all the recruiters are populating that at the moment. It goes live a bit later in the week. Brilliant. Tom, thanks for joining us. There you go. Pick for Britain. Uh, well worth getting involved with.